Hi Virgo, Taurus, and Capricorn. Welcome to my channel. My name is Chelsea. Thank you so much for liking, sharing, and subscribing. I really appreciate all of your love and support. In this reading, we're going to find out who will you end up marrying in the future. Today is the 26th of July, 2023. Time here in Hoi An, Vietnam is 6.03 p.m. Please bear in mind that this is a collective reading for Virgo, Taurus, and Capricorn. If you were to finally guided to watch this video, this must is meant for you even if you're dealing with the same sign now let's get your reading started spirits and angels please show me for Virgo Taurus and Capricorn who will they end up marrying in the future oh hmm. <laughs> looks good so far just adjusting the, the wire um, okay. Oh my gosh. Okay, wait. Wait, I'm gonna tell you. Page of Wands at the bottom of the deck. Okay, so you've got two kings here. Okay, and I've got you right here. Queen of Pentacles, Virgo, Taurus, Capcom. Doesn't matter, he or she is not gender specific. Okay, but these two kings could either mean that this person that you're going to be marrying embodies both of these kings, um, which is someone very charming, attractive, has leadership qualities, very popular, very passionate. And then also this person embodies your future husband or wife. <laughs> the, the person you're going to be marrying is also someone very intelligent, um, very logical, very practical, definitely a strategic, uh, a strategist and very good at planning. Okay. Also tells the truth. Six of Cups, so this person is your soulmate. And the person you're going to be marrying is your soulmate. And I feel like, okay, we all know Six of Cups sometimes can indicate this is someone from your past, but, you know, if it's not someone from your past that you've already known, somebody maybe you've already known this person, okay, you've already met this person, maybe both of you have crossed paths. Uh, with each other but six of cups generally it means a soulmate connection or that you may end up having children with this person or maybe this person already has children okay um could be any of these things a lot of details in this reading though um it's not gonna resonate okay if you haven't even met this person yet you wouldn't resonate at all okay but some of you maybe you've already met them because the six of cups here can indicate that as well okay hmm. another thing i'm seeing here that is that six of cups can indicate maybe there's someone you have um a past lifetime history with that means your past lifetime and then now both of you are meeting each other again in this lifetime okay eight of wands look a very passionate energy both of you will be communicating a lot i feel like both of you because the six of cups is right here this is a very passionate communication but also at the same time i feel like both of you will talk about facts we'll talk about your passion dreams both of you may share the same passion and dreams in life and eight of wands, six of cups, again, indicates children. For those of you who want children, you you get pregnant very quickly or you get your partner pregnant very quickly, okay? Unless this person already has children. And it feels like with the... Look at the way the king of wands looking at the six of cups so intensely. And then the eight of wands look like cupid arrows right and then the six of cups looks like those little baby cupid arrows <laughs> if you combine them together look right 
It's like these baby cupids shooting these arrows. It looks like that to me right now. So it could be love at first sight, okay, with some of you, or that this person is going to be instantly attracted to you. And we've got the Queen of Pentacles right here, which is you. Again, doesn't matter. King or queen, not gender specific. We all have both masculine and feminine energy. So I feel like this person really admires you, likes how grounded you are, how committed you are, how reliable you are. Definitely see a potential of marrying you, obviously. We're asking who are you going to be marrying. So um, this person will marry you because they see your value. They see your worth. They see longevity in you in this connection. And eight of wands also can indicate, can indicate maybe this is a long distance relationship. This is just for some of you. If not, eight of wands is quite a swift energy as well. So either this is going to move very quickly, both of you are going to get married very quickly, or that this could be a long distance relationship, or both of you might meet online, okay? few possibilities here just take what resonates with you and the hangman here is in one first so look at the hangman when it's in one first like i'm waking up right i'm waking up from this hangman mode you wake this person up your future the person you're going to be marrying in the future you wake them up maybe look seven of cups a lot of options maybe all of these other options just bore them um, when they meet you when they see you when they talk to you they straight away know that you are the one for them you wake them up there's something that you're gonna kind of make them feel alive again and passionate about relationships about marriage it could be again if it's their second marriage if not then something something about you look again queen of pentacles and eight of wands here something about you that wakes them up okay and makes them want to commit and we've got the hermit here in round first you make this person come out of their shell but this is also virgo energy but this is also a very single very lonely energy for those of you earth signs but single very lonely right now if you haven't met anyone yet you will meet somebody and this is the person you're gonna end up marrying but it looks like it's gonna happen very very quickly so brace for it okay and we've got the three of swords here in my verse i feel like this is not someone who is gonna break your heart because they are if this person is embodying the king of swords then he's very straightforward or very honest okay and swords are up it means honesty clarity unless another second version that i'm seeing here is that these two kings could be two different people <sighs> could indicate a choice that you might have to make make you may have two options two people want to marry marry you <laughs> i was gonna say marry me <laughs> and you know you may have two potential potential soulmates both are also your soulmates we have multiple soulmates in our lifetime so you may have two coming in two options okay and you choose so i'm not cups here can i get options too you choose and that's the person you're going to be married but both of them are interested right one is someone very intelligent very logical very practical a planner while the other is very charming very popular very good looking very magnetic so you pick you pick and with the eight of wands right here it just feels like it's basically saying if if you do have two options right coming in or for some maybe you already have two options then the eight of wands can indicate you needing to talk to them this can indicate conversation so by having conversations with both of them you know um who you're gonna choose because maybe they're gonna say something that makes you 
realize because the hangman here is in reverse realize that ah this this could be the one okay but you know we have the first version as well it could be just one person who embodies these two kings let's pull out just a little bit more Virgo look lovers what did I say you may have two options two person may want to marry you and you just have to pick and then we've got these six of wands here in our verse seven of swords and then we've got the page of wands hmm may also have another option <laughs> one two three okay one more is a young one younger than you are this person could be quite sneaky okay so i think not this this option not the young one not the younger one <laughs> the six of wands here is a lot worse well this person i feel like this person likes to brag okay the one with the red flag not to marry is the one who likes to brag okay that's one that one person that i'm seeing here but the other two options i feel like um it's your choice you choose there's no right or wrong it's up to your preference okay and the lovers here also can indicate that you and this person unless all these are one person again then maybe this is someone who used to be a player right seven of swords six of wands about first and then when they meet you a light bulb just comes on and says okay i'm done with being a player i'm done with or traveling or i'm done with running away because the seven of swords can indicate someone running away avoiding love it could mean that as well and the earth signs Virgo, taurus and capricorn is the one for me because the queen of pentacles is someone who feels like home someone who is steady stable right so i definitely see this person sees all of these qualities about you um how you be a really good mother or really good father in the future if you don't have kids yet or you know you be a really good father or mother to their children if they already have children i want to tell you a bit of the story um <laughs> this one is an australian guy who told me this story he's married um He's a friend, like a group of mutual friends. But anyway, he told me, I don't know why this suddenly just reminded me of the story that he told me. So he told me, he said, um, I never thought I would ever get married. I never wanted to get married. But when I met my wife and then I met my wife's daughter, because the, the wife was married before I have a daughter. And the way I saw her handle her daughter the way i saw her deal with her daughter made me feel like yes this is the one for me so he thinks that potentially this could be a good mother for to yep to their future children right because he already sees an example <laughs> he already sees how she treats her daughter how she takes care of her daughter so that was like a confirmation for him that ah she she's gonna be a good mother to my to our children in the future so he ended up marrying her <laughs> so that story you know that was a very very old story but it just came to mind for some of you maybe that's what it is right this person might see you or you might see this person um setting a good example or that you might see this person already doing his or her job as either a, a husband or a father or a mother as or a wife there's something that's going to be shown to you about this person or you're gonna show this thing this to this person so i mean not exactly this that story <laughs> but it could be you know i'm just giving you an example so something like that that's once that's what i'm sensing here because the seven of swords sometimes can indicate someone you know i'm running away i don't i don't believe in relationship i don't believe in marriage but then when they meet you look at how serious these two kings are they're like yeah i want to move forward with earth signs i want to marry earth signs 
Okay. All right, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn, this is your reading. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please hit like, share, and subscribe. Um, and if you would like to book me for a personal reading, don't forget to uh, just send me an email. My information is in the description box below. And um, feel free to hit on the bell notification button if you would like to be notified every time when I post your videos and every time when I go live. I think I'm going to go live pretty soon. Not sure yet exactly when. I have to be in the right mood <laughs> to go live. But anyway, take care. Um, Earth signs, Virgo, Taurus, and Capricorn. I hope to see you back here again sooner than later. Bye.